Customs Finalization of Provisional Assessment Regulations 2018 were enacted in 2018, as it suggests. For latest updates, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. They are covered under the scope of Section 18 of the Customs Act 1962. Why were these regulations made? Prior to making these regulations, whenever approach assessment was done under Section 18 by the proper officer, there used to be a huge time gap or it used to take many, many, maybe months or years to complete the finalization of provisionally assessed bills of entry. So in other words, the government of India never got the right amount of revenue or the trade had their monies stuck by way of a bank guarantee or duty deposit and so on. So in the year 2018, these regulations were enacted and the onus now has shifted to the proper officer to finalize provisionally assessed bills of entries in a time-bound manner. Let us now study and analyze the regulations and what are the timelines prescribed for the proper officer to initiate finalization of provisionally assessed bills of entries or shipping bills as the case may be. Regulation 4 talks about the time limit by which documents need to be furnished for the purpose of finalization of provisionally assessed bill of entry or shipping bill. Now where an importer or exporter has not furnished the required documents for the purpose of assessing the shipping bill or a bill of entry under section 17 or the proper officer requires the importer or exporter to furnish additional documents or information which is necessary for the purpose of assessment. In that case, it shall be done by the importer or exporter in a time bound manner under these regulations. So the proper officer can write to the importer or exporter seeking the information within 15 days from the date of completion of the provisional assessment of an import or export, requiring the importer or the exporter to furnish all the necessary documents which are mentioned to carry out the finalization of the provisionally assessed bill of entry or shipping bill as the case may be. The proper officer can extend a time limit beyond 15 days, that is up to 3 months in case the importer or exporter makes a request in writing giving reasons why the documents cannot be furnished within the 15 days period and thereafter the proper officer can grant a further period up to 3 months to furnish required documents. In case the importer or the exporter cannot furnish the required documents after the extension of three months has been granted by the proper officer, the power has been vested to the additional commissioner of customs or the joint commissioner of customs to relax the time limit for another three months to furnish the documents provided proper reasons are given in writing that why there is a delay in furnishing the documents. And the commissioner of customs has the power beyond the period of six months, that is three months of the proper officer and three months of the additional commissioner of customs, joint commissioner of customs to grant further time as may be necessary for the importer or the exporter to furnish the documents which are required for the purpose of finalizing the bill of entry or the shipping bill. The importer or the exporter must submit the documents in one instance and not in piecemeal under these regulations and must inform the proper officer in writing and they will submit a letter stating that the required documents have been submitted to the proper officer as were requisite in the letter received by the importer or the exporter. Regulation 5 now talks about the time limit within which the proper officer will finalize the provisional assessment. So within two months from the receipt of all the documents, the proper officer will complete the finalization. Time limit for finalization of provisional assessment by the proper officer shall be within two months from the receipt of the chemical test or any other test which had to be carried out on the goods 
for the purposes under this particular act or within two months from the letter received from the importer or the exporter that all the documents have been furnished as they were requested earlier or within two months after the investigation report or inquiry report has been received by the proper officer in case any investigation or any inquiry took place. The proviso to this regulation, the regulation 5 also states that the period of two months will commence from the receipt of the entire set of documents and not intermittent documents received from the importer or the exporter. Hence, the period of two months will be reckoned from the receipt of all the documents which are necessary for the purpose of completing the finalization of provisionally assessed bill of entry or shipping bill as the case may be. Lastly, under this particular regulation, the onus is on the proper officer as I mentioned earlier to complete the finalization of provisionally assessed bills of entries and, and uh, shipping bill as the case may be. And therefore, after the whatever time has been given, the extension given under the these regulations, and still the information has not been provided. The proper officer will have no choice but to finalize the provisionally assessed uh, bill of entry or shipping bill with whatever documents are made available to him or on ex parte basis. And that is what has been covered as the last proviso under this particular regulation. That is regulation number 5. That is time limit for completion of the finalization of provisionally assessed shipping bill or bill of entry. Regulation 6 talks about the manner of finalization of provisional assessment cases. Upon finalization within the time prescribed under these regulations, wherever there is a deficiency in the duty, if any, the same will be collected from the importer or the exporter along with interest under section 28AA. From the first day of the month in which the bill of entry was provisionally assessed till the date of finalization of the provision assessed bill of entry into a final bill of entry or the shipping bill as the case may be. Wherever the importer or the exporter have given a security such as a bank guarantee etc along with the bond it will be cancelled once the deficiency has been paid as provided under these regulations read with section 18 of the Customs Act 1962. In case the final assessment is contrary to the provision assessment, the proper officer will pass a speaking order within 15 days of the finalization of the bill of entry in terms of the principles of natural justice. In case the duty has to be refunded to the importer or the exporter, it shall be done within 90 days from the adjustment of the duty which was provisionally assessed and now finally assessed for imports or exports as the case may be. Failing which the importer or the exporter will be liable to interest at the rate of 6% from the 91st day till the date of payment to the importer or exporter subject to section 27 that is the principles of unjust enrichment enshrined under section 27 subsection 2 of the Customs Act 1962. The last regulation here is the penalty provision where the importer or the exporter or his agent does not comply with the provisions of these regulations or fails to give the required documents under this act and under these regulations. They can be penalized up to an amount of rupees 50,000 under these regulations. For detailed learning of all logistics subjects, visit www.logivader.com.